Hey guys, what is up everyone? Today, as promised, the second part of the Freenas installation video. This time we are going to install Plex Media Server in a jail. We will very quickly run through the whole installation process and I will show you how you can import your movies or music or whatever you want to import to Plex. So let's get started right away. Log into your Freenas and we first will create a new user if you haven't done that already. Click on users, click on add user and give it a username, whatever you like. For example, Plex would be a good idea. Then select create a new primary group for the user and give it a full name. We name it Plex as well. And then type a safe password and also that's actually it what we need. Then click on OK. I already have a user here. We will use my own user for that uh, purpose because I'm just setting up my own uh, Plex media server at the same time. So I'm just going to use my user. You go, you're going to use your Plex user or whatever user you like. So next we are going to create a data set. So expand storage. I also already created a data set. So click on view volumes. And in my case, we are going to use the entertainment share that you can see here. Um, that's basically will be the folder where you will dump in all your uh, videos, movies, photos, music, whatever you want. And Plex pulls that off there. So we are creating a Windows share basically where you can just dump all your files in and point Plex to the proper okay, folder. So let's assume you are creating a new data set. So select your main volume uh, which would be this here in my case or this here i created a sub volume and then go ahead and click on create data set give it a name i just do an example because i already created it and you leave the share type on unix you leave this on default you leave everything else on default and just click on add data set i will just show you mine that you can see that it's actually the same thing See, there is nothing special in there, just that I created it already. Okay, next thing, you select your data set and click on change permissions. Now you are going to choose the Plex user or whatever user you created there. And you also want to choose the group of the user. So in your case, it would be Plex and the group owner would also be Plex. Then you need to check this box and put it on Unix permission type. And you also need to take set permissions recursively click on change or create in your case probably and wait a couple of seconds till it's changed and that's that so next we are going to install the plex plugin so click on plugins choose plex media server click on install and click on ok I will pause the video here, it will take around two minutes to finish the installation here. All right, two minutes later, we are back. Let's click on jails. And first, at least me, I want to change the IP address of my Plex Media Server. So I'll give it the 23, you can give it whatever you want. Good, that's done. And then we go to storage and we click on at storage then we select the jail which is plex media server underscore one and as a source we are going to select the entertainment share that we just created and as a destination we are going to select media and uh, what this does is uh, the media is basically inside of the jail and plex will download all of the um, like a movie posters or logos or whatever uh, covers into this folder so click on OK and double check if that is correct that looks good and then we can go already ahead and start Plex Media Server so go ahead and click on plugins installed and fire up oh yeah I had that I had that error before so um, if I install the plugin uh, new, 
I have to first reboot or I had to reboot the system. So I'm quickly, if you have the same error, just go ahead and reboot your system. I don't know why it does that on Freenas 11.1. Um, but let's just quickly reboot and we'll be back in two minutes. All right, here we are rebooted. Let's try that thing again. So go to plugins, installed. Now it better starts and it does. As I said, just if you have the same error, just reboot your NAS and it will most likely start up. So then click on uh, plugins and Plex Media Server and just click here to access your Plex Media Server and you will get the initial configuration wizard. Just click on got it. Then choose if you want to pay for Plex or have a Plex pass or not. I don't want to do that right now. And then you can give your media server a name. I just name it like this. Um, allow me to access my media outside of my home. I don't want to do that. Click on next and then also click on next. We do that in a moment and click on done. And now you are in your main menu or your dashboard and you can go ahead and add a library. So how you do that is you click on films or TV programs or whatever you want to add and you choose for example, I give you an example of that. One moment. Actually, we forgot to add the share, right? So we're going to quickly do that now. Um, open a, a Windows Explorer, then click on map network drive, select a drive letter, double backslash, enter the name or IP address of your Freenas and enter the name of the share that you want to connect. Then tick those both boxes and click on finish. Then enter the username. In your case, it would be the Plex user and the password you assigned earlier. In my case, it's my own user. Pasting the password. Remember my credentials and click on OK. And it should bring up the share. And sure enough, it does. All right, now we got our share drive connected. You can see it here popping up. And if you go inside of this share, that's what I wanted to show you before. If you go into the share, you have this folder structure here. So I have some anime movies, um, I have some live music and some other stuff here. So how you gonna add the library is you click on films. And in my case, I want to add English movies. I'll type English movies and then we need to select the folder and now the important part is look at the structure right here you see that there is all this kind of stuff then we have movies and we have English German and other language so how this works is you need to go to the media folder that you assigned earlier and you need to do a slash and then you need to put there the folder pass like here so a uh, moment it's here and you would need to put movies and you have to write it case sensitive so if you have a uppercase letter in the beginning you need to put an uppercase letter in the path as well so this would be movies and english for me double check movies capital english capital and click on add and once if I click on add library now it will start to populate the library and you will see it on the menu here on the left I will not do that now because um, I have my stuff in there and I just checked that and it's working it's just a little bit tricky with this path because you need to enter it manually and just keep the folder structure and uppercase lowercase writing in mind and then you should be up and running with your Plex Media Server. If you liked that video and you want to see more Freenas videos in the future, just subscribe to my channel and also give this video a thumbs up. And that's it. See you in the next one.